We are in Bath and beside me is an original Stoverton Pit steam crane which was built in 1904. Should we go take a look? This is one of the last remaining self-propelled steam cranes and it was made here right on this site. You can still see all the cabling today and his weight gauge on the side and that would have told him how much he was carrying and when he was over limit. This crane had a vertical boiler and used standard gauge track. The door's open, you can see that the door for the boiler is open. And it's all covered in soot. I bet it hasn't had its boiler pressure tested in a while. If you look up there, you can see the pinion gears and the drum with all the cable in. It looks like it's quite well greased. You can see where the crane would spin and it's got its bearings there. You can probably make out the grease nipple there. You can just make out the boiler through this bit here and I, I reckon that's where they used to clear out the ashes. Give it a good clean out. It's definitely the bottom of the boiler. It's cool, isn't it? This crane could have been used for loading wagons, helping lay pieces of track. Whatever you could think of, I expect they used it for. Cutting the local shrubbery. You can make out some of the levers there to help operate it. There's three levers there. They go up into the cab. Make it spin, go up, down, release the drum, turn. I imagine there's some other ones as well somewhere. Crane 312 was originally manufactured without its cab, showcasing as a pepper pot crane with a canopy and an iron skirt to protect its crew, looking and sounding similar to the one shown in this clip. The four cab was added in the 1920s. The crane weighs 37 tonnes in total, the jib measures 45 feet in length and its lifting capacity was 7.5 tonnes or up to 10 tonnes using outriggers. It worked locally in the Maker sidings and in Bath's Green Park locomotive department. Later on in Radstock, in 2007 sadly failed its boiler test and found its new home back in its original location as a tribute to Bath's history. That's brilliant that. I love this. This is a real piece of history. Bath is famous for cranes. In its heyday it employed 2,000 people. Yeah, it's brilliant. Let's go and see something else. Cheers.